think probably the first thing that I saw was Macbeth. And um, I had loved it because it was this great language and it was so passionate, sort of like musical theater. Um, and I think that what I decided after years of being a professional singer, I had played Patsy Cline all over the Southeast and I, had, and I had worked professionally as a singer, I decided that I needed to be an actress. And I needed to know how to be a real actress. And I thought, if I'm going to be an actress, I'm going to do the hardest thing, which is Shakespeare. And so I went to graduate school just to study Shakespeare. And I also went to Royal Academy Dramatic Arts just to study Shakespeare. Because I figured if I could do Shakespeare, I could do anything. And I have come to believe that is absolutely the truth. I will say that I have been in theater my entire life, including Guildhall, where I actually grew up. Because I grew up in East Hampton, my parents were actors, and I was in this theater before I was born. My mother did a concert, and she was pregnant with me when she sang. So I've been on the stage prenatally, and I adore Guildhall, and I love it, and I've been acting and in the theater my entire life. I took a brief hiatus when I was a journalist, but I couldn't stay away. I think that we have very realistic, um, very realistic views of each other, and I think that really helps because we can accurately assess each other, but also because we went to the same graduate school, we have the same language in order to be able to critique each other. We have this very British background as well as this American technique, which I think that we successfully meld. Um, I feel like American actors want to emote and we want to express ourselves through emotions so much, which is understandable and great. There's nothing wrong with it. British people tend to adhere very, very, very rigidly to the text and that's what is there. And I think that Tristan and I, because we're from both schools, literally tend to melt that a little bit. And I think that it ends up with a, with a product that is um, and an experience that is at once textual and follows the text and um, very metrical and, and all of the rules and emotional and feeling. I think the biggest challenge is over and that was casting. I think the biggest challenge was finding actors who could handle the text, who were the right type and who may or may not have housing in the Hamptons. I mean, it, we, do, we are housing some people, but many people are from here who are also professional actors or have taken our class. And um, they do say that directing is 95% casting, and I think that that is really true, in this case especially.